I bring in all the wishes and greetings from the entire Speed Medical Institute and faculties of Speed to Dr. Adamya Gupta for uh, scoring a topmost rank in uh, any SS. AIMS rank list rank number four in the specialty of DM clinical hematology. Mm. Congratulations to you. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure to have a chat with you and uh, be sharing the screen with you, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy and uh, the pleasure is mine as well. So it's great to interact with you today. And, uh, and also want to know a brief history uh, of yourself uh, from where you started until date. Yes, sir. So, uh, yes, sir. Actually, sir, I, I did my undergraduation from Government Medical College, Nagpur, and uh, post-graduation in medicine from MJ Medical College, Indore. And during my uh, post-graduation days, sir, I had a bit inclination towards hematology because of the benign hematology cases we used to see, like ITP and the plastic anemia. So, uh, from there, sir, it started to, like, I had to do something in hematology. And uh, I passed out in, uh, I passed out from uh, my uh, my MD uh, in 2020. Uh, so, sir, after that, I've, be, I've been giving uh, exams uh, basically in last uh, June 2021. I gave my first AIMS exam. Uh, at that time, it, it was not INISS, sir. So, uh, I had got, got a score of something around 34 or like that. Uh, and in PGI, I got, uh, I, I, I got 39 point uh, six square, uh, marks but uh, I missed it I missed out it by uh, probably by 0.4 uh, maybe 0.5 marks to qualify the exam then I again gave this uh, INISS exam in uh, November but unfortunately sir I could not get any rank uh, and after that sir I gave uh, NEET SS 2021 which was held in uh, month, uh, month of January so, sir, there I got 74 rank in clinical hematology and uh, I was very shattered, sir, that uh, I could not get a very good rank and uh, could not get my dream branch and dream college. And, uh, so, sir, I saw your video that uh, it, it said that that success can, uh, like it was something like that, a success, you can only delay the success, but uh, unless, you, unless you stop fighting, the success will be delayed, but it's never the failure. So based on that, I, I continued studying, sir. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately, uh, even in NEET SS counseling, I did not get anything. So the time was saved so that I could not, uh, the traveling time for joining there, it was all uh, all in all, uh, all my time. So in that time, I continued studying with the very low, uh, kind of like, Sir, low mood and that may, maybe I'll not get anything. Maybe I'll, I, don't, I don't deserve this, all these things. But sir, uh, whenever I felt low, I used to watch your video uh, or your uh, inter uh, interviews with the toppers that someday maybe I'll be able that like, maybe sir will make some, make some sort of, yeah, yes sir. So finally, sir, maybe maybe I'll get something like from the college I'm, that's it, sir. Uh, great. So it is a, uh... Great, very, uh, very long, uh, uh, very long, long struggle. Come back, the kind of uh, comeback you have given, uh, yes, yes, it has to be like that. Huh? It is like a KGF yes, part two. Yes. <laughs> uh, so yes, you have you have given uh, a very good shot, and you have done amazingly well. Yes. Sir. So now, uh, how much time you used to spend for your preparation on daily basis or something on weekly basis, and how it was? Sir, uh, so usually uh, on and off, I used to work in private hospitals as an internist, but uh, you, on a daily basis, I used to give eight to 10 hours per day. And uh, I used to be, uh, watch on, watch mainly the speed videos, uh, especially thankful to Dr. Karthik for their amazing means. Once you have watched their videos, the, the knowledge will be inscripted in your brain. It will be encrypted in your brain. So uh, only once or twice I watched the videos after which I revised, revised the notes multiple times so that I can be thorough with the concepts. And uh, initially there were people suggesting me because sir, I had many failures. No? So people were suggesting me read that book, read some specialty book, maybe you'll, you'll be better with the knowledge. But uh, uh, ultimately I stick to the speed notes and uh, speed videos and uh, speed grant test basically. 
so in grand test i never used to get sir more than like 60 questions correct it was very difficult that is all who recommended speed to you how you join speed so this uh so i joined speed on my own uh, i used to i used to because i was curious about getting into a dm speed so i was very curious and i used to search online and offline but there was no courses available for dm hematology no we are no where on on i should say on this uh, online platform nobody international international nobody teaches dm hematology course mm-hmm. because more people are focused on cardiology gastroenterology so uh, when i joined the course uh, mm-hmm. i had i had no knowledge of malignant hematology sir so but i uh, but when i watched videos and parallelly i used to read some uh, 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 some li- literature from the harrison or uh, say some textbooks then i used to i used to apply those i uh, i i get to know that, that there there are many things which we cannot get from the books directly because if, even if they are important maybe you will skip skip them just because uh, you think that those are, those are numbers or maybe those are just genes but in field like hematology uh, those numbers cd4s and cd4 numbers and those genes are maybe very very important and numerical values are very very important sometimes they just ask what percentage of patients have uh, flit3 negativity in aml or what percentage of pa- patients have apml with uh, poor prognosis so that kind of questions uh, maybe i don't think so if i had i hadn't joined speed i would be able to even attempt those question i would have left uh, them directly in any exam sir very good what will be a message and the take home message and advice to your juniors uh, or friends who are aspiring for hematology i would say sir it takes a lot of uh, patience uh, first of all and uh, just as you as, as as you said sir that uh, it's all about uh, success being delayed it's uh, un- it's not a failure unless you stop trying and i would say sir like maybe sticking to the basics and not going to many far fetched knowledge uh, knowledgeable uh, uh, like context and knowledgeable content maybe sticking to the basics will be good enough and just practicing mcqs that would be great because uh, it's so it's not a very vast subject sir but uh, the the daily ba- on the daily basis there are new new researches and new new drugs coming out so uh, in, in exams like aims they mainly focus on new drugs so uh, i would say just get 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 some some sort of an idea what kind of questions are being asked and and stick to the basic that's it sir just stick to the basic and solve mcqs excellent so once again i bring in all the wishes to you and to all your family members friends and relatives and to you for having a great career ahead for you, uh, in the field of clinical hematology and all those are going to happen and definitely you will do great and advance wishes for you keep going all the best mm-hmm. to you my pleasure sir. thank you sir